Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Magna and Sabic, and by Borg Warner, Bose, ETAS, and Gentex. Ziv Binyamini is the CEO of a company called Fortelex that has some very interesting tools to help the development of autonomous vehicles. Because uh, I think what the industry has found, Ziv, is that getting to the first 95, 97% was fairly easy. Mm -hmm. but those last few percentages are very difficult because it's so hard to test for all the different edge cases, or sometimes they're called corner cases. Mm -hmm. Those uh, very not so common incidents that uh, it's very difficult to test for. But you've got a solution that gets around it. Explain that simply, please. Oh, simply. <laughs> uh, so basically our solution is that we define those scenarios, uh, those situations in a high level, and then we have a technology that automatically create those different situations. It, it doesn't, it's not a thinking technology. But the way it's built, it, every time it runs, it creates yet another situation, another combination of different uh, things. And therefore, it comes up with what we call unknowns, these edge cases that you didn't actually think about. And that's what the technology does. We complement it with the fact that we actually provide you um, transparency into what you've actually tested. So you can actually look at what you've tested and see what you're missing. So on one hand, we have this chaotic technology that comes up with all of these great uh, things you didn't think about. And on the other hand, to complement it, we have a way to look and tell you exactly what you did and what you didn't, what you're missing. So some automakers have done all kinds of physical testing, just driving cars. Tesla, for example, collects data from all the vehicles that it has out there and claims it has an advantage because it has more real-world testing than anybody else out there. But what you're saying is that's not enough. So, A, this is great. This is an advantage and it's very useful, but it's not enough. Because rare cases don't happen enough in the real world and some of them are very dangerous. So you have to find out all of these test ca edge cases and combinations, including unsafe things that you cannot luckily don't happen very often on the real world and you need to test all of this and the only way to do it is with synthetic technology that can come up with all of these different situations and allow you to test them and make sure that you can handle them as well. So it's complementary to the great things that Tesla and Mobileye and others are doing by collecting data from the real world. So you've got a number on that, how many test miles you need to really validate uh, an automated driving system. What is that number? Well, Rand Corporation published a report that says that you need to drive 11 billion miles. So 11 billion miles. 11 billion miles. And, and if you drive via a fleet of vehicles 24-7, it would uh, take how many years to so generate if that? If you have a fleet of 100 cars 24 by 7, it will take 500, more than 500 years to do it. And then if you make one little change in the software, you, ne you need to start again. So really what you're saying is uh, with that approach of using physical driving, you're never going to get there. If you're using only physical driving, you're never going to get there. And so oh. with your system, instead of 500 years, what can you bring that down to? A few years, a few years, depending on the complexity of the system. But, you know, one to three years is probably enough once you actually fully deploy this complementary technology. And uh, you're saying that this uh, approach really came out of the, the chip industry, how it had to validate chips. Correct. We come from the chip industry, from companies like Intel and others. And we, you know, chips are in incredibly complex. And if you don't find the bugs before you commit to silicon, the costs are incredibly high. So the chip industry over the last few decades developed, and we had big part in developing this approach which allows us to find any problem in the, in the chip before we commit to silicon by using this synthetic testing and, and metrics, etc. So this is, I mean, if you're using a chip like you're using in this uh, smartphone you're using, it has been tested using the same methods that we are now bringing to the autonomous space because autonomy is going to help save a lot of lives and make humans more efficient and more safe. 
but it will require this technology that already has been proven in a different industry. So this all sounds pretty good to me. Who are your customers? Our customers are large uh, automotive OEMs like passenger cars and, and trucks. Uh, Can you give us some names of the companies? Specifically, we announced uh, collaboration and partnership with Torque, a Daimler trucks company, with Volvo, Volvo Group. So these are some of our customers, and we work with many of those automotive OEMs. Very good. So uh, using your approach of validating uh, an autonomous driving system, how far off uh, do you see autonomy happening? So I always say autonomy is already here. So level two, which is driver assist, we, many people are already using cars that have this technology, enjoying it. Uh, being more safe and more comfortable with this technology. There are several more advanced autonomy that are coming like level three uh, passenger cars on the highway, level four, so these are more complete autonomy on the highway for trucks. So trucks, you know, there's a huge shortage of uh, trucking drivers and autonomy will be deployed in the next few years. Uh, other spaces like mining and like uh, agriculture, that are somewhat simpler, there's already deployment happening and there will be a lot of this deployment, uh, commercial deployment happening in the next very few years. And then we'll see more and more advanced, including eventually in the city, which is the most complex uh, environment. Any time frame for level four robo taxis in an urban environment? Uh, no. Okay, but you think it will happen? I'm sure it will happen, for sure, but it's probably not in the next five years. Very good. Thanks so much for your information. Very Thank interesting. Thank you.